hi, guess what? I'm gonna be on TV, like a national television channel. I am excited and I've gone through different phases of emotion. So let me rewind a little bit. About a month ago, I got a message from someone on Instagram asking if I wanted to come down to be on the show. And the first thing I did was Google this person's name to make sure it wasn't a trap and it wasn't. She actually did work at the channel. So the headquarters is down in the West Loop, which is about a 15 minute drive from where we are. And the show is called Tune In With Me, which is a morning show on the channel MeTV. So I agreed. I, I think at the time I was more nervous than excited because even though I have done public speaking many, many times, I still get nervous doing it, especially when it's something new that I haven't done before and I've never been on TV like this before. So of course, you know, I have all this nervousness and anxiety and I'm going to forget everything that I know. But over the last kind of month since I've known about this, I've definitely shifted more to being excited. So when they first told me and I first agreed, I thought it was some local, small show, maybe a handful of people will see it. Then I decided to look up MeTV and their viewership, and they are in fact national, and they are ranked right above Bravo in terms of viewership. And I know about Bravo, but I'd never heard about MeTV. So if you don't know about MeTV, it is basically the channel of my dreams that I didn't know existed because it has all of the cartoons that I grew up watching, so Looney Tunes, etc. And I also grew up watching Nick at Night, which at that time in, you know, the 90s, early 2000s was I Love Lucy, Happy Days, a bunch of the older shows. And I feel like now Nick at Night is like shows from the 90s and not shows from like 60s and 70s. So MeTV has all of those shows, like MASH and everything too. So I was really excited to find out this channel existed. And then when I saw how many people watch it, I also got a little nervous. Now what's interesting, so this is their weekday, again, morning cartoon show, is that they say they have a pretty even split between like kids who like to watch cartoons and then older people who grew up watching these cartoons as part of their viewership. So I'm excited. Uh, it's just happening in a couple days. We're gonna head down there and they said it should only take about like 10 minutes of filming time. We're filming it in February, but it's not going to air until spring, early spring. I don't know the exact date yet. Once I do, I'll let you know here and on Instagram. Um, but I need to dress like it's spring. We're going to pretend it's early spring. And I do have to bring a few things, which is why I have some seeds started inside that I normally wouldn't have at this time. So let me show you some of the stuff that I'm going to bring. Over here are some seeds that I have started. So I have in here cantaloupe, zinnia, some basil and tomatoes. And I'm gonna take in, I started extra because of course I wasn't just gonna start one and worry about it dying, but I'm gonna take in these over here to kind of show what seedlings look like. They also asked if I had any like spring fun house plants to put on the table as kind of decoration. And I am gonna bring some other house plants, but I also just picked these up from Home Depot. So this is what I'm gonna take. I need to pot up some more of these because I'm gonna swap out this tomato for one tomato. I might put in a larger basil. So I'm gonna do all of that, get that organized and ready. And then let me actually, I'm gonna gather up the house plants that I'm gonna to bring too. These are the four house plants I'm also taking with me. So because tuna, the tuna, is short, they wanted plants that were lower, nothing that was too high and would block him. So yeah, I'm gonna go with a box. I saved that Amazon box so that I can pack it up. And I can't wait. So my husband luckily is able to come with me. He's gonna help me carry all the stuff. What I don't know is if he's allowed to take any photos or video while I'm in there. So if he can, I will put them in. If not, unfortunately, I won't be able to, but I do plan to vlog like right before I leave and right after, let you know how everything went. I am very glad it's not live TV because that way, if I do make a mistake, we can redo it. And if for some reason I did terribly, they can decide not to air it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm trying to have positive thoughts here. Um, but yeah, I am more excited now than I was nervous, which is really good. I've never been in a studio before. I have no idea what it's going to be like. So hopefully I can get at least a little bit of photos of it, but obviously that is up to them. I'm really excited for this opportunity. I've never had anything like this happen before. I never thought when I started my Instagram that I would be getting these opportunities, but I want to make sure to take them. I don't want to let my nerves 
keep me from doing really cool things in life. So yeah, I think that's everything for now. You'll see me in a little bit. Oh, let me just share, just in case you're wondering, um, some tips that they said for being on TV, because I did ask, like, I've never been, what should I do? They said definitely wear solids and brighter colors are better. Um, I was also recommended to wear like more makeup than you normally would, which is great. So what gets me the most nervous about public speaking is when I can feel myself turning red. So even if I know what I'm talking about, everything's going fine. I'll feel myself starting to flush and then that makes me more nervous. But if I have a bunch of makeup on, hopefully they won't be able to tell if I turn red or not. So yeah, I think that's everything. I will see you the morning of. So today is the day of my TV debut. Now again, it's being recorded today in February. It's not gonna air until early spring, but I have been up for a few hours now and I've definitely gone through a roller coaster of being like comfortable and confident to being very anxious. So hopefully the comfortable confidence side wins over once we get there. I don't know if I mentioned, I forgot, but this is the first time I have ever been on TV. So I don't really know exactly what to expect. Um, but I know that they are going to do their best to make me feel comfortable. So let me show you what I've packed up. There really isn't much else to do except go ahead and get there. In this plastic bin, I've packed all of the house plants. Again, the house plants are for decor. I have the egg cartons we're going to plant in, watering can. There is a canister of soil and a couple trowels, the seeds. And then over here are the seedlings I started and three more colorful plants that I just picked up from Home Depot. So those are the two boxes that we are taking down. Are you excited? I'm gonna be on TV. Do you care? Do you just wanna be left alone? So let's go ahead and head down to the West Loop where the studio is located. I'm home now, I have my cozy pants on. It went so well, like even better than I could have imagined. I always am a little bit nervous, like I said, when it comes to public speaking, especially in an environment like this where I've never done anything like this before, so I don't really know what to expect, but everyone that I interacted with was so incredibly nice. So especially Ellie, who was the person that first reached out to me, and then Bill and Kevin, who does Toonie, the tuna, they were so nice and they had a really good repertoire with like being relaxed and joking. So I wasn't sure because they let me know kind of a general list of questions they would ask ahead of time. So I wasn't sure like how robotic it would be kind of back and forth, but no, it was very conversational. I felt very relaxed from the moment I got up there with them. As far as I know, my face never turned bright red. So that's great. And everyone said I did a really good job and that if they ever need a gardener to come back, they will let me know. So I am so excited. The offices are in the West Loop, not too far away from where we used to live. So the first place that my husband and I moved in the first time we ever lived together was in the West Loop. And even back then, eight years ago, it was already like way too hip and cool for us. I'm definitely more in like the quiet, but still in the city life, which is kind of where we're at right now. Um, but it always changes so much. So it's probably been a couple months that we've been down to the West Loop. There's already new buildings, so many new restaurants. Um, I was able to stop in and eat lunch down there. It was nice to be back, but then again, a good reminder to why I like to live in the area of Chicago where we live now, where it's just a lot slower paced, but it was a great day. It's also proven to myself that one, I can do this and two, that I like to do this. So I'm definitely looking forward for any other opportunities where I can either speak on camera. Oh, something that might be happening, um, hoping, fingers crossed, is that I might be, for this channel, doing some interviews with other gardeners. So getting out into Chicago and asking other gardeners questions, touring their gardens. I'm just in the very, very beginning process of setting that up. So I'm hoping that works out too, but I really enjoyed this. So I'm excited. The episode's gonna air March 19th. It's 
tune in with me, T-O-O-N, with me. Um, so you can schedule your DVR now to record it. So if you do watch it, let me know, because I think the show airs like early in the morning. I know it's much earlier than I'm normally up and watching TV, so you can record it if you want to check it out. I will, I don't know if they post clips on YouTube or anything, but if they do, I'll see if I can like download it or insert clips into a video after that. I was able to film or have my husband film and take some photos. The only time he couldn't was when we were actually live and recording, but obviously you've seen some of the footage that he was able to gather. So it was just an all around great experience. If somebody asks you to do something that you think would be a cool thing to do, even if it makes you nervous, I would say go ahead and do it. I don't think you'll regret it. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.